Hey everybody, Collector Kel comes to you guys with part 2 of our Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex Let's Play. So, this episode we'll be doing Bamboozle, the first of the Atlas Sphere levels. Which are another type of level you can actually do without, or the time trial without actually needing any power up. Alright, so now we got this level in this stupid sphere, and 125 crates. Yeah, because these levels have a lot of crates. Luckily, though, the... Oh my god, did it really seriously miss that crate? These levels actually aren't too bad. Uh, yes, yeah, steel blocks. Also, expect to see a lot of nitro throughout these levels, too. Like I said, this game is obsessed with the nitro. Like, I know the other Crash games had quite a bit, too. But this game just really, really has the heart on for freaking nitro levels. For levels with tons of nitro. Luckily, there's no special gems ever in any of these. They're just your typical, like, collectathon. We're about a fifth of the way done, it seems. So we got some nitro crates up there. Which look difficult to get. How do we get there? Do we have to go up here? Yes, we have to go up here. Um, hmm. This looks difficult. We did just get a checkpoint though, so dying isn't going to be that big of an issue, but I still prefer not to die, thank you. Wait, is there even anything up here? Um. Wait, what? There's nothing, there's just nitro. That is, that's just dumb. Yeah, so we're not going up there anytime soon. I don't know why they do that. They're just like, oh, I guess, trial and error. Which is a big thing that this game is also known for, is trial and error, which is fine. But when used as a primary difficulty gimmick, that's not... That's not good. Also, this game doesn't really teach you how to play the game like the other Crash games did. It would force you to learn how to, like, spin, or to double jump, or whatever, and stuff like that. This game, it doesn't tell you anything. It's just like... Yeah, this is how you do this game, and this is how we ex we want you to play, even though we're not going to tell you. Also, it's really funny how the music does that in this game. It just cuts off, and then starts playing again. It doesn't even, like, phase out. It just cuts out entirely, and then that's it. You know? Which I'm not a big fan of. Thank you. Go up the elevator. Oh, that was worth a bunch of lives. Also, when you're doing the time trial, definitely hit that one, because that one is a lot of time stopping. Like, a really phenomenal one. And I remember doing this back on my other channel, like, years ago, like, this game. But it bugged out so much, because, like, my, uh, recording hardware was just really, really buggy when it came to recording, like, old consoles. So, a lot of times would have, like, audio desync, or video wouldn't record, and just... We won't have that issue anymore, so that's good. We're at 76. We're getting there. Remember, there are going to be quite a few nitro crates, though. Like, I do like the look of this level. I do think it looks cool. You don't really get a lot of time to look at the ambience behind you, because you're always focusing on the crates and everything, but still, it's not bad. Looks like we've got an elevator up there. I heard nitro. You can hear him, like, make, like, a jiggly wiggly sound. Alright, so we got that, and this looks like the way we're supposed to go. So let's check over here first. Ah, the jiggly wiggly crates are back. And once again, just pure nitro. I'm pretty sure this is just a shortcut, right? I'm like... Yeah, this is a shortcut to the exit if you want to just bomb rush. I think the whole point of that is for the time trail. I think that's actually what the nitro paths are for in this. At least in these atmosphere levels, because there's never any reason to take them. We, have to, we do have the crystal, though. Yeah, we can hear the uh, thing down there. Yeah, we have everything, so, yeah, there was no reason to take that path. Boom, level done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you, game. So there we go. You know what, and we might as well do the time trial. A minute 17, let's go. I'll probably just speed these up, like, in the video editor. I don't know if we'll keep them in, like, as full parts of the video or not. The power of video editing, we can do so much nowadays, so I don't know. 
I'm gonna get my hand back on the controller in the right position that I wanted. It was like taking an awkward play because it's just it's slipping. Trying to slip, slip, slip it away. Oh no, I missed that time frame. I'm gonna lose now. No, no, no. I very rarely actually ever lose the time trial. The only crash game that I could really actually Oh, I could beat it, but it was the most frustrating thing ever. It was Crash 4. Probably less that at some point down the road. It's not really a retro game, so it doesn't really count towards the gimmick of this channel. But it is a good game, per se. It just doesn't feel as Crash Bandicoot as the other one. Like, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's not a bad game. It's just not the best game, you know? But yeah, remember I said there's a bunch of time stop... Er, yeah, time stop retreats up here? Yes, sir. I was right about that. Hey, I guess I don't get any checkpoints in these levels, by the way, when you're doing the time trial. That would just be kind of dumb, right? I don't know like, if the game's so much speed you can actually either fly off the edge or just like get stuck and lose all your momentum. Which is another pain in the butt in this game, by the way. That's a little gripe I have with some things in this game. And then one of the Game Boy games brings back the atmosphere levels, but it dumps them down to the point where they're just super boring and not at all interesting. Alright, I wonder if taking this way will be good or bad. Especially if it just covers the time for the elevator to come down. I wonder if I can hear the nitro, but I can't see the nitro, you know? Alright, here we go. And there we go, 55. Oh, we only got... I think we only got Sapphire, did we? I don't know, or is that Platinum? If we got Platinum, oh boy, are we doing good in this game. Except for dying in that ice level repeatedly for whatever silly reason. But we'll see if it's a Platinum, because last one we got was a Platinum. No, it was a Sapphire. Sapphire? Is it? Let's see, we'll look, we'll wait here. Come on, game. Show me. I'll have a drink while I wait. Oh, yeah, it was a sapphire. Bummer, but whatever. Anyways, let's go to the next level. Wizards and Lizards, which has another death platform, by the way. I'm pretty sure this is a death platform one. I'm not actually sure if it is or not. But we'll see. 129 boxes! Come on, game. Alright, to defeat these knight guys, also, what the heck was that game? You're gonna have to slide to defeat them in an epic slide, rank, or something or other. I watched so many YouTubers, like, fail to defeat those guys, it's not even funny. It's like, you just slide into them. Like, what's so difficult for them? You're gonna get hit by a bat, so I don't know. Also, they're wearing underpants. Oh yeah, this part. Get ready, because you're gonna be- Oh, never mind. I thought this is the part we get chased by a lizard, but no, this is just the bonus platform, so we'll do this. Uh. Boing, ba boing, ba boing, ba boing. I can't even tell how many crates are in here, because that just- I can't see, like, it's cut off on this, for whatever reason. Alright, sounds cool to me. I'm assuming we're getting every single one outside of the, uh, Nitro crates, then. I'm going to assume we did, because I cannot see that number for whatever reason. I gotta somehow shrink the, the screen down a little bit. Uh, I'll probably do that before recording next. Oh god, the lizard! We got Aku! We will destroy most of the crates that- oh my god. They actually made it. Woo! Let's see, do you think he's gonna break through? Oh my god, he broke through. As if we didn't see that coming from the other Crash games. Yeah, he will destroy most of the crates that are left laying around though, so that's a thing. You don't have to worry about that. Which is good to know. I don't think he break that one though. Oh my god, there's still another phase. I think he actually chases you more than you get chased in the other Crash games. Woo! Man, it's hard to tell what's going on here. Oh, for this part, jump. These actually fall. The game does not indicate that they fall. And I didn't think I had an Aku Aku anymore, but I guess I did. I was worried for nothing at all, but whatever. I actually have a lot of the boxes already, so we'll destroy these, make sure they get destroyed like that. Ah, we got the one up from that. Oh yeah, those little fireballs do hurt you, by the way. And we got the death platform, so perfect. Let's go. 
Oh lord, this does not look pleasant in the slightest. That's a lot of crates destroyed. Oh god, that's a cool that's uh, I was gonna say that's a crate, that's a pit. I believe those also fall too, so be on luck for that. So that was really weird. Oh god. Let's go this way. Ah, we got the green gem. Perfect. So now what you do, if you want 100 percent the level, die. And I mean that. Because look, you still have the green gem. In the original Crash games, I don't think they allowed you to do that. But in this game they do for whatever dumb reason. They, I think, dropped the ball somehow and did that. Oh, I didn't get the life that time. Oh yeah, nitro crates, and eh, be on the lookout for them. Oh yeah, I don't think there's another crate hiding behind there, so that's good. Oh yeah, kill the wizards! Wait, what? We missed one crate? You gotta be kidding me, it's back here. Is it up there? I don't think so. We missed one somewhere. And it's in this section somewhere. So I highly doubt it's behind him, because he destroys them all, so... I died on a bat. My bad. Alright, I'm pretty sure... We missed something around, like, here, maybe. Not not these crates or anything like that, but... I'm pretty sure there's, like, something around here. Like, behind one of these. Oh, now? Now you're destroyed, huh? Huh. Wait a minute. Why did that feel weird? I don't know. We did miss a box. Are you serious? Man, I don't look back. That's annoying. I'll probably do that in another episode. Probably won't do it in this one because that's just tedious, but my lord. Well, we got the green gem. So I guess we'll go and do a compactor reactor, which we do need the gold gem though to get the uh, second gem. So that's something we can't do here. Oh, I'm gonna shake, rattle, and roll your bandicoot butt. Um, sure. I believe this is actually a really long level. This game too, instead of making levels fun, they made them long. Like some of them are fun, yes. But some of them are also long, like this, because to do this, you gotta actually angle yourself. And I'll show, show you what I mean by about needing the, uh, this nitro over there. About needing the gold gem. That'll be up here. See, right there, you'll see the gold gem path. That, that'll only be open if you get the gold gem, so... Yeah, don't, don't worry about that just yet. Can't do anything with that just for the time being. I have an itchy, and I have to pay attention to not hit the nitro on this level, which is annoying, but I think I can manage it. How many crates are here? 150. See what I mean about the crate numbers? Like, this is just ridiculous. Alright, let's collect everything we can, and... Ah, oh, yeah, don't fail at the end. Good. Now on to the actual level. With some drills and some potion chuckers. New class added to World of Warcraft, potion chuckers. The class. Oh my god, there was a drill there. I didn't see that, that was on me. That was just me being dumb. I don't even know why, like the perspective of things like that and this just looks so different, like so off. Like, for a game that uses shadows, you don't really see a lot of these things, you know? Now let's see, anything up there? Nothing? Okay, let's just dodge that. 
Hopefully we get another checkpoint soon because I don't feel like being brutally murdered. Meteorites? What do you guys have meteorites? It's kind of weird, but... I'll take it. Hey, a free one-up. That oh, one-up is kind of hiding back there. Ah, eh, whatever. We'll do the bonus. And then check one right next to the bonus. It's kind of like defeats the whole purpose of it. There was that was weird. There's no sound effect on that, but whatever. Oh god, I hate these bouncy crates, man. They're so stupid. Oh, it could have been in the bonus. I didn't think about that because I can't see the bonus counter. That last level could have been the bonus. Nice. Oh god. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. There we go. We'll destroy those. And then we'll continue on. Which we do clearly have them all for once. Yay, good for us. Let's see how many crates we have. 86 of 100. That's just, like, over half. This level's nutty. I don't even think the level itself is that long. It just has that weird, like, beginning phase to it, which really kind of is just thrown in. Okay, so duck here. Once again, they don't tell you how to do this. But, you know, I told you circle, so at least I told you guys how to. Oh, God. I actually don't mind the side-scrolling the, the side parts, because... Oh yeah, hitting an enemy into a crystal will actually collect a crystal for whatever reason. Oh god, not this again. Oh, this is so dumb. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, really? Williams is like, nah, how about no? Why are these guys shooting like radioactive gunk everywhere? Dude, disgusting. Okay, I'll just kind of cheese the level. Not even meaning to. Like, I can't tell which laser's which because of the perspective of this game. Wow, more than half the boxes were nitro. See what I mean about this game loving nitro? There were no boxes in that, like, second part of the level. Or, like, third, fourth part? I forgot how many checkpoints there were. In the last, like, good chunk of the level, there's nothing. Now you can't actually go back to any level until you fight the boss, which we'll do in this episode, Rumble in the Rocks. Well, well, looks like the Bandicoot's been busy collecting crystals. I warned you, Bandicoot. Finally, I get to wrap my fingers around your puny orange neck. Jeez. All I do is spin into people and obliterate them, and you're just gonna choke me out? Man, that's not very nice. Alright. So we got him in his rock ball form, which is an atmosphere boss level for whatever reason. I think you're supposed to hit the little balls, I don't remember. Oh yeah, because then he'll change his... Yeah, they change color depending on, like... Know who has them and stuff, so that's a thing. Go! This boss fight is so dumb now. There we go. Come on, let me hit that ball. Or the ball. There we go, and then that'll hurt him. It's kind of weird. Also, the sound effect of it breaking happened before it actually hit him. weird, because every other sound effect is on par with it, except for that one. Ah, leave me alone! Dude, really? I had no control over that. Where are these balls? Oh my god, he hit me out of... Hit me. Yeah. Dude, come on! Like, why does he get, like, to thrust into you like that? Like, he's like a pelvic thrust. He keeps hitting these rocks. There we go. Thank you, game. Kill him now. 
obliterate him. The boss fights in this game are really weird. The final boss, honestly, is the easiest, which is really, really sad. This boss fight isn't hard, it's just annoying. It's, like, you lose so much momentum just pumping into literally anything. Or he'll just, like, come out of nowhere and, like, bang it. Because he needs, like, this thruster boost and you can't, which is really stupid. Come on, let me get the... I died because the game was like, no. You don't even die immediately, which is dumb. Sheesh, game, come on. It's funny though, the boss fight that people have the hardest time on is actually one of the ones that I know how to beat super easily. And I never have issues with it, so it, it, it's kind of funny how that happens. You have this boss, one that everyone likes. God, what was with that? It was like so delayed. Alright. Now I gotta do three. The worst one is the one where you have to do four, because you're also competing against him, so if he hits one, then you have to hit it twice, and then he'll also be damaging you, but yet you can't damage him unless you get all of these. So that's a thing, and oh my god. He, like, comes ramming right into you at full force. Like, he's, like, always right behind you, sniffing your bandicoot butt. And he hit my rock again. So where the balls is the last rock? Oh my god. And if you hit the same one twice, guess what happens? Oh my god, game. No, I'm not letting you hit me this time, you doofus. Where's that last rock? No. Don't hit me again, please. Thank you! God, that's so ridiculous. Like, whoever designed a lot of these boss fights needs to be, you know, maybe fired before they ever working in gaming again. Oh man, I could almost got the double hit on this rock. Oh, I got that one because the rock bumped into me, so that's... That's good. Now this is last rock. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And if I run right back... Are you kidding me? The game got me hit twice because it sent me up into him. Also, how come his can spread, yet yours can't? Also, I thought he was Earth, not Fire. Why, why do they look like they're on fire? Also, where did that, why did that one lose its... Oh my god, give me that last one, quickly! No, oh my god, he always gets it quick. Are you serious? Thank... Oh my god, just when I thought I had it. Thank you! It's the last boss of the second, no die crunch. Get out of here, you Yeah, he's dead. Sneak shoes, sneak and long suspended nitro brace. Hold L2 while moving. The most useless ability ever, because it shows up like three or four times in this game. And it's just to walk across nitro. Like, there's no other reason for it. It's just one of those dumb power ups that they add because, you know, they need to meet the quota of needing a new uh, power up. Anyways, there we go. We beat that world. Cortex! When are you and that super weapon of yours going to put an end to that interfering bandicoot? You are beginning to test my patience! Uh, uh, I'm working on a Dukauka. Listen, Crash, you may have outsmarted Rocco, but there are three more elemental masks where he came from. And just as luck would have it, they are all significantly more powerful. I have no doubt that the water elemental, Wawa, will make sure you never see the light of day. Yeah, the water boy and I are gonna take you out. Ooh, I'm gonna rip you limb from limb. Okay. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. We're at 14%, by the way.